When creating drawings in Inventor, the goal is to convey design intent and give any and all information necessary for the manufacturer of the design to properly build the item without error. Foreshortened dimensions can reduce clutter and therefore make a drawing more readable, but at the same time, they can lead to confusion if not used properly because the second arrow is not attached to an entity or it can be missing altogether. Having said that, many drafters use them extensively, and you should learn how to use them as well. To begin with, on the Ribbon, Annotate tab, Dimension Panel, select the General Dimension command. The first dimension you will place will be a linear foreshortened dimension between the two blocks. First, select the right edge of the left block. Move your cursor to the right block and select its left edge. A linear dimension previews in the window. Now, right click and from the dimension type flyout, select Linear Foreshortened. Place the dimension towards the smaller left block then right-click and choose OK. Notice the double arrows on the right side. These denote that the dimension refers to something which should be the next thing in that direction. Right-click the dimension and select Options, Hide Second Arrowhead. Zoom out a bit and depending on where you placed your dimension, you may want to reposition it a bit, which is easily accomplished by dragging. Click on the dimension and position it wherever you feel it looks right, then release the mouse button. If you ever need to have the double arrows back, just reverse the procedure you just used to remove them. Now, you will create an angular foreshortened dimension based on two lines. Select the left vertical line of the large rectangle, and then the lower horizontal line of the same rectangle. A preview of the dimension displays. Right click and choose Dimension Type, Angular Foreshortened. Place the dimension within the shape, and then press Escape to end the dimension command. Use the option to remove the second arrowhead as you did with the angular dimension. You will now create another angular foreshortened dimension based on three points. Right click in the window and select General Dimension from the marking menu. Select the lower left corner of the large block as your first point, and then the upper left point on the same block as your second point. And finally, the center point of the arc for your last point. Right click and choose Dimension Type, Angular Foreshortened. Click to place the dimension and then quit the Dimension tool by right-clicking and selecting OK. The last dimension you will create is the Arc Length Foreshortened Dimension. Start the General Dimension command and select the large arc in the window. Right-click and select Dimension Type, Arc Length Foreshortened. Place the dimension as you did with the others. Exit the Dimension command by choosing OK from the right-click context menu, and then remove the second set of arrows as you did earlier. How you use foreshortened dimensions is ultimately up to you and the company you work for. They are especially useful where normal dimensions would cross and create a cluttered look. They are also used by many people in breakout views. 
However you use them, they are a great asset to your design toolbox.